guys. Okay, we will need all 25 polymers to fix the dome. Come on, come on, come on. I need everybody on this. I need everybody on this now. Welcome back to Mars, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam, and we are here in episode 5 of our little playthrough. Uh, of surviving Mars on the Green Planet DLC. Uh, in the last <coughs> episode, we have uh, first of all we have cleaned up after a brutal cold wave that has um, uh, visited us just before that in the episode before that. Uh, we have also brought up more colonists last time and basically filled up our entire first basic dome over here uh, with everything we can so this is where we are in addition you can see there is uh, another rocket here which is not ours which is a little trade we have initiated last time where we are trading away some of our metals which are plenty uh, for uh, a lot of food that we were offered uh, instead so let's get into it and let's uh, discuss uh, what is the plan for today and what has this date in store for us and like i said we just barely overcame the last uh, um, natural threat and the next one is already knocking on our door we have a dust storm coming in only one saw we actually already a little bit behind when it comes to the preparations Mama, for that the, because um well like I said last time, this time we have actually 25 colonists now, which we need to protect from the dust storm. And the dust storm brings all kinds of challenges with it. So, and we only have one soul to get ready. So let's do that uh, immediately. So the dust storm will affect several things. First of all, it will affect our uh, power production because the solar panels will not work whatsoever they will just stay closed so we will have basically zero power production because right now we're producing all our power and I'm going to pause it here for a second in order really to give us a little bit more time uh, to to prepare prepare stuff um, our entire power production right now is purely with solar panels we have shut off our uh, wind turbines however we are of course going to shut uh, switch them on uh, before the dust storm hits otherwise we will have no power production whatsoever in addition I will build another uh, so uh, wind turbine the wind turbines without any dust storm produce uh, 5.6 uh, power which is a little bit less than I thought I thought the small ones produce five uh, so the big ones should produce a little bit more. I think once they're on they should produce 10. We will see. Um, and we currently have a power demand in total of 42. Alright, this is currently during the night where everybody's sleeping and nothing is working. So once a uh, morning shift comes around and uh, machi uh, machine parts factory is working, the research, working, research lab working, etc. Uh, the power need will go up. I'm not sure exactly to how much but I'm assuming it will be at least 60 or 70 power that we will need just to fulfill those needs. So we will definitely have no choice but to build more wind turbines, at least one more at least. Luckily we do have power stored up, 12, uh, well right now it's night so our batteries are drained a little bit but during the day this should go up to 12, to the full 1200 um, which will last us for a little bit but it's still definitely a point of concern. Again, same with the cold wave, the power will be our main concern, uh, so we will have to keep a very close eye on this, and if necessary, we will have to build more wind turbines. At the moment, I would like to refrain from that, because uh, machine parts only 19. We have, luckily, a little bit of a financial um, cushion here, uh, so if necessary we, we can send up uh, 25 machine parts uh, again uh, in emergency with a supply pod. Um, Alright, so this is the power. In addition, what will stop working is the MOXIE, our, our um, oxygen generator. At the moment we have only two oxygen tanks which store up a total of 200. However, there is 
again simply no oxygen generation whatsoever and no walk around about that so the only way to overcome is to store up as much oxygen as possible until then and right now we have an oxygen demand of 0 0.7 um, which if you if this is really the oxygen demand per soul then this should be no problem whatsoever since you know the dust storm even if it's a very long one will not last more than a day or two a soul or two so that should not be an issue it's but still uh, regardless I'm going to build another uh, another two oxygen tanks uh, just put them here right next to those uh, just to be safe uh, we probably won't need it but uh, you know we the last thing we want is to run out of oxygen because that's uh, well that's bad um, water wise we should be fine the water extractor is not affected by the uh, dust storm except that it will get dusty same as everything else and will require more uh, maintenance which are also machine parts by the way so also another thing to keep an eye on but the extractor should continue working the, the water tanks should continue working uh, so we are we are good there so power and oxygen is our main concern uh, let's get let's uh, get it running with that in mind um, I hope those four wind turbines will be enough I'm a little bit concerned that they won't uh, also I am going to switch them on already because it's going to take our little drones a little bit time to get down here and to um, repair those and get them on again. I'm going to build another one. I'm going to build another one. I'm not going to take the chance. Uh, 40 power. Uh, one advantage though is that I have forgot to mention is during the dust storm because you know the wind is blowing stronger uh, the wind turbines actually produce a little bit of a surplus actually more power than a uh, normal so that is also one thing to uh, keep in mind so I hope that with these five together with what is what with whatever is uh, being stored in the uh, batteries until then we should be fine let's speed it up let's welcome the dust storm uh, and let's see what happens um, in addition this trade is going on we are still loading and we're always loading first and then we're unloading uh, this is a little a little bit slow uh, I think we have a general issue with our drones uh, right now here the workload is heavy and here it is medium uh, we need to get up another drone hub as soon as possible uh, in regards to the research, uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, it is already here. I'm going to queue it up, actually, and I'm going to even increase the priority on this. I think this is a good thing. Uh, last time I said the, pol the polymer we're going to do next, yes, but it will definitely be in a new dome. We're not going to also produce polymers in this first dome. We simply have no capacity to do that. So uh, we will research. We will finish the research on the um, factory but the actual production we will do in our in a, in a new dome which hopefully I hope that we will get to in this episode at least the planning to it and to see where we are going to put it but first we have to deal with the dust storm and uh, and, and overcome that uh, in terms of the scanning there is no scanning going on so let's change that let's uh, queue up uh, more uh, areas to be scanned um, as you can see around us we have already scanned everything um, and well metals are pretty rare again metal still not our concern and it, I don't think it will be for a while but at some point uh, the metals on the floor will run out and we will have to uh, get them out of the ground so it should at least you know we should at least keep an eye on it in terms of vistas there is a few here but they're too far away maybe we can work towards the vistas and maybe later on but uh, you know from now on the comfort level is actually not my primary concern anymore since we've already had our first baby so um, I mean of course I still want the colonists to be comfortable but uh, we don't have that goal in mind anymore still we want them to 
multiply uh, in a natural way so our colony grows so comfort level is uh, still important okay so nine more hours and the dust storm is here our um, wind turbines are still not built let's get get this one a little bit higher priority again our drones are a little uh, busy with this so let's lower the priority on this one uh, I don't really care how long that one takes but I care that this one uh, is is getting fast so right now we have full batteries 1200 um, and the dust storm is about to hit the oxygen tanks are, I don't think no they have not managed to fill up we are going into the dust storm with around 250 oxygen something like that should be fine if our need is indeed 0.7 per soul then we should be fine so we will have no issues with that um, so okay so here you here we go now we have we're actually producing uh they are producing 11 in normal mode and once the dust storm hit i uh, starts i think we will produce probably around 15 16 something like that so that times five is around 60 po 60 65 power we should be pr producing uh with the wind turbines and currently we have a need of 67 um, so that should work out fine that should work out fine let's see let's see all right dust storm here it comes all right so as you can see I mean it is night anyway which is also uh, anyway the the um, solar panels are not working and we are still in in the in the greens here with the with the power uh, we have a fracture which should be fixed easily with uh, five polymers holy hell okay that's a lot so but we still have five polymers we are good with the power we have no oxygen uh, as expected and actually it requires two uh, now um, or let's or to be exact 1.7 uh, but it should still uh, last us uh, the dust storm is really really short um, thankfully so we have a message about the broken dome let's see what it is nervous colonists watch a crack in the dome slowly leak out precious air into the uh, into the dust storm outside to fix the initial crack, we'll have to send colonists outside. However, this may be dangerous and it may be wise to first wait out the storm. I need volunteers to go outside. Colonists may perish, but the leaks will be contained. And we have we have to weather the storm for now. Well, that is a difficult decision. Um, the question is, what are the uh implications of uh, or the consequences of the leak i'm not entirely sure uh will it cost us more oxygen probably uh but in any case i'm not going to risk my co my colonists uh because a i don't have that many and b if the colonists should die then this is also going to lower the morale of everybody else so i'm going to take the risk and delay the repairs Okay, we have a leak, which is always something serious. So let's have a look at it and make sure it's going to uh, be fixed uh, ASAP. Apparently, there's another leak. Yeah, there's another leak because we also leaking power and we also leaking liquids and gases. So, guys, please fix the leaks ASAP. Unfortunately, there is no priority setting on the leaks, so um, I guess they already are the highest priority. Uh, but I cannot influence that how fast this is going to be fixed looks like the fracture is fixed though even though I said to delay it so that's good um, how are we doing how are we looking we still have enough oxygen stored up in terms of water um, again the water extractor is working so and now the leak has been fixed and we also have water stored up so no issues power wise we're more than fine uh no issues whatsoever the fuel production also has stopped because the moisture evaporator has stopped okay now we have another fracture um uh, this is going to drain our polymers but nothing we can do about it i hope they're going to fix it 
like I said, the moisture evaporator also is not working in a dust storm, so no fuel, but that's okay. We have 70 fuel stored up, and the rocket is probably also already full. Yeah. All right. So another 11 hours until the dust storm is has passed. So far, we're looking good. Uh, how's morale? Research complete. Comfort. Morale is 63. Goes down a little bit. Um, we have researched the uh, polymer factory. Currently, completely irrelevant. Um, I just want to go past the dust storm. Dust, dust storm. Uh, let's see how this looks. They're still loading this rocket. Our rocket is ready to go, but it cannot also go during the dust storm. So it also will have to wait. Um, oxygen, again, still ena more than enough. Power is more than enough. So looking Sector good. Scanned. Again, the dome fracture. It is fractured, but I don't really see the consequences of that Resources does it mean that uh, our oxygen is higher uh, oxygen demand is higher maybe uh, but I'm not sure but it was ex or it means basically that they got they're repairing it over and over again with the polymers but it still keeps fracturing and another leak let's deal with this okay it's already being repaired but there seems to be another one again dust storms also bring leaks with it with them which is uh, always a little bit of a problem but uh, our guys are on top of it okay now indeed the dome, frac dome fractures have drained all our pol polymers which uh, uh, is not great um, and we're going we ha will have to do something about that in a moment the storm's almost over okay we have no life support why is that we have no water because of the stupid leak um, but we do have water stored. Okay, now we have a bit of a problem. Uh, the leak. What, what about? Hold on. Let me. First of all, what's with the leak? Okay, there are several leaks here. There's a guy already on it, so we should not have a water problem as soon as the leak is fixed, because the dust storm is already over come on please fix it okay the leak is fixed now we're good with the water the dome should have everything uh, however we have one problem which is the fracture let's see what he says the death storm has settled but the damage to the bone remains a constant threat to a colonist it is now safe to send a repair team to seal the crack in the dome and stop any further leaks do you have any special instructions effect new fractures will cease to occur due to the major crack in the dome Existing fractures will be fixed by drones automatically. Double check everything and make sure all safety protocols are followed, which will take 24 hours. We need to fix the issue ASAP. Tell them to hurry up. Okay, what happens if the repair takes 24 hours? Well, that means that more oxygen will leak. I guess so. Hmm. Let's do the 24 hours. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the oxygen demand is higher. It's 2.7. Okay, so we have a little bit of an oxygen problem now. Still have 106 built up, but we're needing 2.7. Still should be fine. Can I upgrade the Moxie? I cannot. I could build another one. I don't think it's necessary though. The problem I, we have though is we have no polymers, which are needed to repair. We actually need 10. So, polymer emergency. Let's bring up a pod with polymers. Yes, yes, yes. Another fracture, another fracture. Now we already need 15. And this is going on for 24 hours. Our rocket is ready to go. Let's send her off. Let me actually see if there maybe there is a project that we can do. Uh, here we need to send four botanists, which we don't have. Here we need to f five scientists, which we do have, but it only gives us research progress. I'm not going to do that. And here we can s send any six colonists to get a breakthrough. This is actually interesting, and we're going to do this. We're going to send the expedition, which means that six colonists are going 
uh, on the expedition but the expedition is usually it's of course on the planet on Mars so they're not going to be away for too long um, and anyway right now we have a little bit <laughs> of a problem here so it's better if they're gone so uh, what's with my pod it's on the way I need it urgently we already have three fractures which draining 3.7 oxygen we are producing three so basically we are we are lacking one oxygen per day I think we will not run into an oxygen problem here uh, water he tells me is also low uh, we producing five we are demanding four why are we demanding four we should demand only three these this needs two the dome itself needs one ah okay and one is here but this guy has its own uh, water uh, supply all right uh, let's see we still have we now have four fractures our breaking dome is indeed completely breaking down, uh, breaking up. Now the polymers are coming, 90%. We, we discovered the planetary anomaly, which is another breakthrough. Let's see. Martian born gained 10 performance, which is great. By the way, we have not uh, researched any breakthroughs yet. I think I'm going to queue up. We're starting with this one in the very beginning, if you remember, or if you have watched it. The first episode, we got a little of a little bit of a story bit through a message. This is not, not really a breakthrough technology. This is like a little story bit, which we will only find out once we have researched it. Uh, and I didn't get around to it because there was a lot other stuff that we had to research. So I'm going to queue this up and see what this is. Um, all right so polymers 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 please get here problem is well i'm going to bring the polymers down but not on the pad because the rocket is coming back uh where can we put it so it will not uh here we have let's put it here the drone hub should reach that Alright, alright, let's put the dome on high priority so it will be repaired immediately. Uh, okay, we should see the drones now going into this direction, hopefully. Yeah, it is definitely in radius. So let's go, guys. Okay, we will need all 25 polymers to fix the dome. But the 24 hours that I gave them should be over by now. Let's... Come on, come on, come on. I need everybody on this. I need everybody on this now. Uh, well, I have only three drones left here. So, and they are needed there. So, please. Okay, one fracture has been fixed. Okay, they are, they are now on it. They are repairing. They're repairing as fast as they can, but since all our polymers are going to go in there, I'm going to bring up another pod with polymers. I have no choice. This is uh, not really very effective, but what can we do? We need the polymers, also not just for the repair, but also afterwards to maintain. Okay, so I think we're good. I think this is the last... Another one, another one. Holy... Hell. Okay, so the 24 Sector hours scan. of this thing are still running. Oh, there it goes. Thank the thing. It said it was fully repaired, but it's not. Okay, and but I think we still have the last five to repair it. Okay, this little thing cost us like 50 polymers <laughs> uh, just to just to keep the dome. Uh, repaired okay let's bring back our colonists that went on the expedition i'm not sure if the colony of the of the expedition cost the full fuel load Research we have complete. to we have to check that if it does it's really not also not really fuel efficient not sure though does it have zero come on Alright, there you go. Oh, indeed. 
Okay, so the expedition cost us a lot of fuel. Um, so the next one, the next trip is back to Earth for sure. And we still have a fracture here. We still have a fracture here, but the n the next polymers are again on the way. Okay, we have a heavy load problem here. Okay, that I don't I don't really care about. By the way, I see the waste rock is building up, so let's build another dumping site right here um, for the waste rock. Again, there's only three drones over here right now, and they have a little bit of a problem handling that. But I need all the all men here on this. Okay, something is still here. These are metals. Don't tell me they're okay. All right. I need the polymers, but I want to. Yeah, let's put it down here. All right. How is this doing? We're unloading our food. As you can see now, we have 177, and it's not even done unloading. So we have really more than enough food to last us. Now the dust storm is over, and our uh, solar panels are working again. So we do not need uh, all the all the wind turbines. I'm going to shut off three uh, and let two two of them. I no, actually, I'm going to shut them all off. We don't have any more machine parts. No need for this. Uh, we have enough s power stored up. And during the day, uh, we're going to fill up uh, the batteries again. All right. Dome is finally fixed. Hallelujah. Okay. No more fractures. Uh, that was quite something, this dust storm, uh, in terms of uh, the fractures and the cost of the polymers, uh, which was quite brutal. Alright, so far this episode did not go as planned, which is usually, you know, the most fun kind. Uh, because I was hoping that we can look a little bit more into expansion. We have a couple of minutes left, so maybe let's do that, okay? So the dome, as I said, is full. It's not necessarily full, full with people, even though we only have two um, living spaces available. Actually, we have 26 people now, so which, mean, which means that another child was born. We now have two Martian borns already, which is cool. Um, but as you can see, if this continues this way, very soon we will run out of space uh, for living and also for uh, well ev anything else. So where do we go from here? First of all, guys, please uh, clean up here. That would be very nice. Um, Again, from the beginning, I have planned to go into this direction. Uh, and of course, I'm planning to um, connect all domes. You know, there is this thing with the passageways. So I'm not going to now, you know, start here and then build the next dome here. That That's not really uh, a good idea. So we will have to build it in pretty close proximity. Okay. And since we want to go into the northeastern direction, uh, western direction would also be good but we have this here now and we have the rockets here so I think we have no choice but to go here in order to do that though we need to prepare uh, let's say the ground a little bit for that so there is a landscaping uh, tool which basically allows you to flatten uh, the area and we're gonna do that so that uh, basically we have place for our next dome by the way, speaking of the domes, um, if you were an attentive watcher <laughs> of my videos, you see something is wrong here. When I when I in, when I go into my domes menu, I have let's go away, a little bit away from the extractor because it makes a lot of noise. Um, I have I have all the domes basically that the game has already available. Uh, when you play vanilla vanilla, you won't have that. Okay, you need to research each one not each one but there is several uh, levels of domes you have to research okay you have you can you, you have the basic dome in the very beginning which we have also built and a few couple of the other small domes uh, the reason i have that is because of a mod uh, which i had enabled when i started the playthrough and realized it after the first episode tried to disable the mod but for some reason even though the mod is disabled it's still showing up however i'm not going to 
take advantage of this, okay? I'm still going to play as if I'm playing vanilla, okay? I'm not gonna build the medium dome now, even though I would like to, uh, because it technically I have not researched it yet, okay? So I want to really play fair in that sense and wait until I have the actual research for the medium dome done uh, and only build it then. Okay, so this is just a little explanation why I have the choice of all the domes, even though uh, I haven't researched them yet. Okay, so, however, like I said, I would like to research the medium dome, but I don't, I'm not even seeing uh, the research field for it, so I cannot do it. I won't do it. So I will go for another basic dome, so we will have two basic domes, and only then uh, we will build the medium dome. So our little drones are working to flatten the area here and we're just gonna put it here, okay? And then later, I'm not sure if we can get past this mountain ridge here and uh, we're gonna put a medium dome over here later on. All right, so how long, how much longer will this is going to take? Not much longer. And then we will, uh, we will already place our next dome. Uh, how about our drone hub? Uh, the drone hub is now being researched shouldn't take too long by the way you research as you can see has you know improved dramatically uh, we are getting our hundred extra um, 100 extra research from our explorer and we're currently getting 336 research out of the research lab so now the research is much faster than it was early on uh, but I need the drone hubs as soon as possible because I definitely want to build another drone up here and eventually also here so that I can maybe one day move our commander away from here because he's basically stationed there ever since we brought him up. Okay, the ro our rocket is ready to go. Uh, how about our trading partner still unloading? We still have enough space here to unload the rest of the food. Um, so we are going to do that how are we doing here 94 98 and the polymers have to go why has nobody taken nobody takes taking away the polymers can you please take away the polymers all right I want to at least uh, place our second dome before we end this episode so let's at least do that let's send the rocket home I don't need it here anymore I, except if there is something super interesting here but no it's still the same so nothing for you here uh, in terms of rare metals we have nine which uh, I think um, let me see so we are getting 24 million so it's roughly 200 million that we can get from the nine rare metals we have researched. You know what? Let's let's take them. Let's take them. We currently need every dollar we can. So let's take them with us to Earth and sell them. And then we this will give us another like 200 something million. So we have a little bit something uh, left for emergencies. Why are you not taking the polymers? Problem is, as long as this is here, I cannot really build the dome. I mean, I can actually, I think, because they will just say, Sector scanned. yeah, they will just take them away before building the dome. All right, so I think, um, I think this is a good spot here. Or we could build it a little bit lower and also help them extracting the rare metals you know at least have the option not saying uh, we will do that but let's say let's have at least the option so let's try to have this including included uh, maybe something like 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 this okay it's still I hope at least close enough so we can build the passageway um, but also going already in this direction and later on I'm not sure if we what we're gonna do here I don't know and we could technically even remove the mountains however that takes a lot of uh, drones to do it or we built uh, the RSU 
there's a I think it's called a dozer uh, that can also help with that. All right. Um, I think we're gonna leave it here for today. Um, to sum up, we had to deal with a dust storm, which turned out to be a little bit more uh, annoying <laughs> than I originally thought. Um, we, but we overcame it. It cost us a ton of polymers uh, that we had to bring up, but we did it. Um, and we have placed down our second dome, um, which we will next time um, populate with buildings and uh, see what else we um, need uh, in terms of production in order to advance our colony. So I leave it here guys. Thank you again for watching. Uh, as always I would very much appreciate a like, a subscribe or a comment below um, and I will see you next time in episode 6. Bye bye for now.